I'm Tyler. I'm Carter. And there's no booze that we won't try. Sounds like it's another edition of Booze, booze Trials. Trials. Howdy, friends. This is Booze Trials. We just trying the show out right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself and try not to be too long about it. My name's Tyler. I have four years in the liquor store business, and I think that's a good enough background to start this thing off with. I'm Carter. Let the show begin. I guess he don't care about letting y'all know his shit, so whatever. He's a professional drunk, too, so let's get this show on the road. What we have here is Prairie Standard. Prairie is an ale producer out of Krebs, Oklahoma. If any of y'all are familiar with Chalk Brewery, this is basically the children of Chalk, basically kind of stemming off and doing true craft brewing. And this is their flagship. It's a farmhouse ale. So we're going to give this a try, and I uh, hope you all enjoy. An interesting note on the prairie beers is that I've only had one prairie beer out of maybe four that I actually like. The rest of them, well, when we tried to record these shows... <coughs> Yeah, this is not our first attempt. Yeah, right? like we tried, we did like a prototype episode, and we tried a couple of prairie beers that unfortunately are no longer in uh, in pr- production. And one of them was like a wine barrel noir, which was a wine beer combination. And it the reaction was great, but it was not a great. So and unfortunately, we did not manage to catch that on camera. Actually, no, the, we that's that is actually the beer that gave us the idea to actually re- start recording these quote unquote reactions yep. slash info, infotainment videos. Yeah, we do actually want to give you true information on this. We're not just gonna fucking be all like good or bad. We do actually want to give you all a real review. Uh, we, like I said, we are professionals. We've done this plenty of times. So uh, again. If you're considering buying this beer and you haven't yet, uh, let us t- try it out and give you what you want to know about it. All right. So, uh, you want, you're doing the sniffer there? It smells, it smells good. Yeah, it, it, it's very. It, it smells very mild for a farmhouse ale. It doesn't have that extremely buttery, extremely bready kind of smell that it's other a, farmhouse ales tend to it, have. It's it's a hoppy farm. Oh yeah, it does, it does say that. It does say a, farm, a hoppy farmhouse ale. One of the interesting things about this, especially for any of our viewers that are from Oklahoma, you'll be particularly um, pleased to see this label because on the label, um, I don't know how close I need to get this to the camera, but basically it has instructions picture by picture on how to noodle, which for those of you who are from Oklahoma, it means how to use your fucking arm as a worm and catch a catfish. So I thought that was freaking interesting. Whenever I saw this for the first time a couple of, or about a year ago, when my, they first my, started making it, my dad used to do that. I, I've done it once <laughs> before myself, even though it wasn't really extreme, I and I never caught anything. I, let's speak of extreme. Let's extreme. <laughs> Cheers. Mazel tov. Yeah, this is definitely the one prairie beer I've had thus far that. I can I can say is that like it tastes like a beer. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it, ta- it tastes. <laughs> it ta- I guess that's why they call it standard. It's like it's, well, it's, yeah. it's a standard beer. Well, yeah, it's very standard. Um, by the way, um, most beers don't say it on the bottle, but I just now took a look at this and noticed that this five point six percent. So it is very standard as far as the alcohol content, and um, yeah, it is. It does taste kind of standard and. It says farmhouse ale on it, but honestly, to me, this really tastes more like a typical pale ale, pretty mm-hmm. much. I would say like a pale ale or even like just a typical Pilsner-style beer. Yeah, maybe. I was supposed to say more like a Pilsner. Pilsner-style beer very, than it does like a farmhouse. Beer. I mean, there are elements of, there is elements of kind of a bread sort of uh, buttery goodness that the farmhouse has, but it's not a, what I would consider a true farmhouse style in the sense of the taste and the... Um, smell and anything else about it. So, um, I think it's false advertising, but I like it. <laughs> let's, uh, so let's, let's so let's have a real drink now and uh, see what our stomachs agree with us on this being uh, easy to drink light beer. It's crisp. It's refreshing. 
And um, again, especially if anybody's con- you know wants to consider a farmhouse sale, again, <clears throat> to me this isn't a true farmhouse, but it can kind of introduce you into some of the elements of a farmhouse, particularly the uh, kind of hoppiness of some of the farmhouses. It's more of the hoppy part than the farmhouse, really, that I kind of taste in the beer. Uh, so moving on. Yes, moving on. We're going to wash these out real quick. And um, I believe the next one we'll go ahead and do is going to be the Funky Galaxy. That's right. I said funky. We're going to go off camera for a second. We're not doing anything for Fucking each other in the ass? No, just kidding. We're gonna get flight for inappropriate in this. Whatever. <laughs> you know what? If you're watching this and you wanna flag me, you can suck my cock. Whoa. <laughs> Cause I don't tolerate censorship. I'm gonna keep my neck in. Hmm. Right there. So so this next one that I'm about to pull out, it's pretty interesting actually in a number of ways because as you can see, this is not a bummer, <laughs> but the original bottle that it did come out in was a 25.4 ounce bomber. Now this bad boy is more like a 16.9 ounce bottle and it just looks, it's, it looks funny to me mostly because it originally came out as a bomber and now it is this style of bottle instead. So, excuse me. I've got my bottle opener. I don't know what that was that came out of your mouth. Just be careful. Uh, this bad boy here, it says it is a galaxy hopped. I don't know what a galaxy hop is, but it sounds interesting. A galaxy hopped black farmhouse ale. I don't know if anybody's ever had a black farmhouse ale. I've never even heard of one. So this should also be interesting for that reason. Yeah, this will be interesting for me because this is the one prairie beer I'm unfamiliar with. I'm not familiar with this one either. And um, it's kind of hard to see. The design on this is actually pretty cool. I want to keep this bottle because it shows what appears to be stars and constellations. But the constellations are actually what appear to be basketball players playing with an imaginary basketball. Because there is no basketball in the constellations. Uh, also, here. there's two fingers pointing at a hot dog. Just. <laughs> yes, that I, I didn't even notice that, but he's right. This actually is a freaking hot dog in the center of that little uh, atom looking thing well, there. Well, they certainly got the funky down. <laughs> Very funky looking. So, um, let's see how this is. Oh, that is stouty. I love I love dark ales myself, um, so I'm very, very looking forward to this because I tend to love almost any beer that is black. And the darker, the better. Once you Usually. go black, you never go back. I would say that's very true for me. <laughs> I bet. I have not gone... <laughs> I, I'm going to put it out there right now. I've never gone black with women, so... <sighs> well... So I'm going to put that out there. Mm-hmm. All right. I got a little bit of more head than I wanted in my beer, but oh well, it's not a big deal. This uh, this definitely smells hoppier than I thought it was going to be. It's probably going to be more like Marshall's uh, El Cucuy. You think? I get the vibe from the scent. I don't know what the taste is going to deliver. Mm. Yeah. Let's uh, find out. Let's taste the funk. To the galaxy. <laughs> to the galaxy <laughs> funk. Wow. Um, I think you're right. Is it just me, or were, or were you right? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm tasting black, extremely bitter. This is it. The, to me, this it's is very bitter. I don't get a bitterness from this. I no. mean, it's bitter, but it's not like overwhelming. It's not. It's not quite as bitter. I would almost say this is like El Cucuy light. Like it's not quite as bitter it's as the El Cucuy. It's more palatable. Yeah, for me, definitely a lot. Like if somebody liked a little bit of bitterness but not too much, this would be a good one for that. And uh, yeah, this. Uh, Marshall's, um, well, I don't want to get too much into Marshall's. We'll maybe cover that in another episode. But, uh, yeah, Marshall's has a beer called El Cucuy. It is a black IPA sort of style. Very, very hoppy and very, very bitter. Yeah. Uh, this one here is pretty bitter, actually, but it's not overly whelming. It doesn't make me pucker up with bitterness. So, um, yeah, right on. Um, I'm, I'm down for this. I'm going to go ahead and take a real drink now, like a man, so let's do that. Oh, 
Most excellent, bro. I'm I'm digging this. I really am. Okay, so Prairie has two beers that I don't mind. We're gonna drink the rest of these off camera. Like we're gonna save y'all the um, we're gonna save y'all some time, and we're gonna move on to another one. And I have one more in here. This bad boy that we're about to pull out here <laughs> is my personal favorite. I like this is probably maybe my actual favorite beer period. Uh, I just there is no other beer that compares to this in my opinion. But then again, um, I may actually pour this out into a glass tonight, and we I may have a completely different opinion this time. So we shall see. Did you wipe mine out or no? Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. I know that didn't sound proper, but he's talking about the glass. We're, we're talking about the glass. Fuck you, say? <laughs> so, this bad boy <coughs> right here is the bomb. <laughs> Literally, it's called bomb. And uh, when I, <laughs> um, I actually made a post on Facebook when I first tried this beer because this is how good it was. I I, I made a post on Facebook about this beer, ranting about it and how great it was. And I, um, what's that word I'm looking for? I dedicated the Gap Band song, Drop the Bomb. Also Oklahoman. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, <laughs> fuck yeah. Oh, my God, I didn't even think about that when I did it. But, yes, even better. Yeah, so, um, man, you know what? We, I should have, like, had some music on or something, but it's all right. We'll, uh, we'll maybe do something next I time think we'd have to pay for that. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Somebody might be like, oh, copyright all right. All right. violations. So instead, I'll just be like, you dropped the bomb on me. You dropped the bomb on me, baby. You dropped the bomb on me. I have the distinct pleasure of not having tried this beer yet. So this is going to be, a, this could be either me just being like, yeah, it's another good one. Or me, like, having a really great reaction. I think you're going to fucking love this, dude. I've seen your reactions to other like particularly like true imperial stout beers which is by the way before we get too much into this I'm going to actually describe this and tell people what it says on the label that this beer is this beer really interested me the first time around on so many levels okay for starters uh, hold on let me let me go back to this one for just a second okay the the uh, the, the prairie here the standard was 5.6 um, this artisan Funky Galaxy is eight percent, okay. And yes, this is one of the this one right here, the bomb right here that we're about to have at, is uh, so special that they decided to put wax on it. Sparkly wax. <laughs> Sparkly wax. Yeah, that's an interesting thing too. So we went from five point six to eight percent. This bad boy here is at a whopping fourteen percent. There are very few wines that even have this high of an alcohol content, and there's very few beers with this high of an alcohol content. So the first thing I thought was, man, this is going to be intense. Let me describe this to you, okay? It is an imperial stout aged on coffee, <clears throat> cacao nibs, vanilla beans, and chili peppers, okay? So this has got a lot of flavor in it. or it, Basically, the description tells me right off the bat it's going to have a lot of flavor in it, okay? So... Like I said, I've had the pleasure of having this beer before, and this guy is going to get the opportunity now. Okay, All right. so you sniffed it a couple times there. I noticed it, it's it's it is a very strong coffee smell, and that's why I'm like, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, so it uh, it has the very much the smell of a lot of better imperial stout style beers, coffee stout beers, coffee beers in general. He's correct. It does have a very, very coffee oh. smell to it. <laughs> so um, I feel like I'm just like drinking coldest coffee right now. Like, right, the color and the scent. I'm just like, oh, this. So this this could be the this could be the one beer of this particular show that is the entertainment. I have I have tasted I have tasted every flavor <clears throat> in this except for the chili peppers. So I'm gonna go for that this time. So let's that. cheers to this and have ourselves a city sip. The bomb. Mm. Hmm. So what you think? <laughs> I don't hate it. 
<laughs> but I don't love it. I this is very much me drink this might as well be a cold thing of like better quality Folgers. <laughs> then a, like, there's no beer taste to it. It just tastes like I'm drinking a cold cup of coffee. That is not necessarily a terrible thing. Yeah, that is just. <laughs> what are you saying? I, I no, get what, we don't I get need to get into semantics. This, this is my opinion. No, no, I'm, I'm saying I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, and I'm gonna drink the rest of this. <laughs> this. I, I just love this beer for so many levels. I mean, because I can seriously taste just about every flavor. Um, I still cannot really taste the chili pepper. I can't either, and that's I, I'm tasting everything else though. I'm tasting the cocoa of a cacao. I'm tasting the cacao a little bit, like a dark chocolate, a yeah. little bit, like true dark chocolate, like the 85 percent stuff that most people hate because it's not sweet enough for them. And I am tasting the vanilla big time in this. So it's almost to me like having a cappuccino, almost like, but not sweet. It's not sweet cappuccino. Yeah, it's not sugary. Here's so. here's the thing. Here's the thing with this beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I almost want to put it in a, in a fucking coffee maker and heat it up, <laughs> and I wouldn't know it. Like I don't know that this is a beer. <laughs> it's sort of like the wine barrel noir. I did not know that was a beer. I thought it, was, but I thought that was garbage. I, I wish we had just, a wine barrel noir for us to try because the wine. I don't barrel, think we could recreate that magic. Right, right. We might not be able to create the original reaction that we had, but, but the wine barrel noir is kind of reminiscent to what he's talking about with this beer, though, because the wine barrel noir it was it was supposed to be it's a beer and it's aged in red wine barrels. But they did it to such a degree that it tasted nothing like beer at all. It and did not taste like a beer. It tasted it like a red like wine. wine. Yeah, it poured out like wine. It tasted like a Cabernet. Like this it is, seriously, this is, this is another example of what I said earlier about Prairie, like going above and beyond the call of duty of trying to do something different. Yeah, and and with this, it works. Except. I think they'd be better off making coffee now. <laughs> well, so <laughs> at this point, so let's so let's recap something here real with, quick. with alcohol in it. Yeah, they might as well have just poured out al- like some, some some base alcohol, grain alcohol, in a cup of coffee and said, "Yeah, let's 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 <laughs> recap real quick here. What Prairie has done that we can both agree on is very inconsistent of them for starters, and just very like a true crap brew. Okay." This here is a quote unquote hoppy farmhouse ale, okay? But it tastes nothing like a farmhouse. It just tastes like a hoppy kind of pilsner style beer, even though it says right on it, a hoppy farmhouse ale, okay? Oops. And the Funky Galaxy here, it says a galaxy hopped black farmhouse ale. It does taste a little bit like a black beer. But overall, it really kind of tastes more like a black IPA than a farmhouse. I don't know where they're getting farmhouse from here at all with either one of these two. Because I know my farmhouses, damn it. And that's neither one of those two fun farmhouses. And, and this is just the best part of waking up. <laughs> <laughs> and it drops the bomb in your fucking mouth. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about this. That it is... really does drop the bomb the... on your mom. Of, of of all their wackadoo oh, like man. let's let's like brew our beer in co- hollowed out pumpkins or whatever the hell they're gonna do next. <laughs> like man, this I is love not they that, made a that, pumpkin, dude. that is not it. the worst that they've done, but <laughs> it exemplifies what I what I, what the my biggest problem with Prairie right now with is, the with the brewery as a whole. It is is that they they are are trying way too fucking hard. So Prairie, so Prairie hasn't been around very long, and I think we've basically given everybody here the idea of just how eccentric they are. I think that's the best I, way to I, put I, it, I right? Ho- eccentric. Yeah, I hope when they get when they start to get their their bearings together, that they they stick to like what made other craft brews work and not go for these. Crazy Willy Wonka beers. I'm going to say this much. Speaking of quote-unquote Willy Wonka beers, Prairie, if anybody from Prairie is watching this, 
Please make more of this. I agree. This stuff this, cannot, this stuff doesn't even stay on the shelves. This we is... cannot keep this on the shelves when it comes in. We ordered five cases at my liquor store that I work at. It was gone in three days. It's good coffee. It's awesome. <laughs> it's amazing. It's really good coffee. <laughs> and it's amazing It makes beer. me want to like, cup of Nordagia. It's, it's, it's so awesome. Um, damn, dude. It, the, also, it can, dropped a bomb on us. Okay? Can hey. we finish this beer to this? Come on now. Oh, shit. That's right. We haven't even done that yet. Oh, Come on, yeah. man. Drop the ball. Oh. Oh, it's fucking beautiful. I that, love it. That coffee beer is not a good chugging beer. <laughs> oh, I don't even care, dude. Well... All right, well, we're going to finish the rest of these off camera, and then we'll come back drunk or hopefully drunk or at least buzzed, and uh, we'll do another episode. Well, so, I hope you guys hope, enjoyed this shit, Yeah, well, this is an experiment. This this is an introduction episode. Um, we apologize if this isn't funny enough for you. I know um, it went on too long. Y- yeah, how long have we been? Damn, dude, this is only three beers, man. Like, we don't need right. to have too many All right, of this. so, see you next time, folks. Later. Oh, hey, and suck my balls.